Coming up in the news tonight, the C.A. Smith building undergoing deep cleaning. Find out why. A local physician warning against overexposure to the heat. And the Kingdom Government Movement selecting candidates on Grant Bahama. The Bahamas Tonight, the North in Edition starts now. This is the Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Megan Shepard. Thank you so much for tuning in. Topping the news, the C.A. Smith government complex shut down for a third consecutive day as cleaning crews work throughout the day and tonight sanitizing the building after COVID-19 concerns emerged. A cleaning crew equipped with the latest in technology was called in to carry out deep cleaning of all offices before the government agencies are allowed to reopen. Italia Hall reports. President and project manager for Fusion Sanitizing and Disinfecting Services, Waylon Bartlett, says the cleaning of the C.A. Smith building began on Tuesday. He says the company was called in after an illegal migrant being held in custody tested positive for COVID-19. Bartlett said his company did a site check and then sprayed the entire immigration department with an electrostatic sprayer and an EPA-registered disinfectant. We scrubbed the cells where they were being held, um, all the walls, all the shower, everything that was in there, soap, tooth, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, all the uh, blankets, pillows, we packed them into uh, five millimeter garbage bags and um, disposed of them. All the vests belonging to the immigration officers, we took those and had them decontaminated, we sanitized them and we're, we're gonna bring them back. The whole building was sprayed um, using our electrostatic sprayer. We went in before, we, we went in and sprayed first to eradicate any viruses that may still be in there before we did our cleaning. He says all of the offices, cafeterias, bathrooms, computers, keyboards, doorknobs, and blinds were cleaned in the building as well. The entire building has been fully sanitized, um, disinfected, um, it's protected against viruses, influenza, H1N1, any type of virus right now we, we've um, eradicated basically out of this building. The building is safe for anyone. The um, last procedure, we're going to come back in um, probably on tomorrow and we're going to do some fogging. We're going to fog the HVAC system uh, just to put this stuff into the HVAC system to make sure that the um, air being circulated in the building has been cured also. And as for the electrostatic spray machine, the business owner provided more details on the device. These are the exact machines that were used in Wuhan, China for when, they, when the outbreak first started. We're using um, a disinfectant, it's an effervescent tablet that we drop into water, um, it dissolves, but it's uh, EPA registered, C the CDC recommends it, um, and the WHO approves it. So it, it fights um, and it kills, it's a sanitizer and disinfectant. It kills um, more than 160 different types of viruses. He is encouraging the public to take the deadly virus seriously. COVID is, is serious and adhere to all the instructions by the authorities, um, sick, um, safe distancing, uh, wearing your face mask and um, washing your hands. I am, I am adhering to all business owners on this island, all public facilities on this island to install um, the touchless hand sanitizers. Because if we're, if we're covered in our mouth and our hands are sanitized, it's very difficult for the virus to be um, tran um, transferred from one person to the next. Italia Hall, ZNS Network News. Meantime, the union representing immigration officers claimed that, to date, the union is not aware of any officer having received a test by the Ministry of Health. Vice President Darren Brooks says, contrary to reports, the Ministry of Health only advised that they be quarantined for a period of 14 days, and if they exhibit symptoms, then a determination will be made as to whether or not they will be tested. 
Brooks says the non-uniformed staff is concerned as their fares stem from having been in contact with officers who are now in quarantine prior to the department being made aware of the detainee's COVID virus status. He says one of the union's mandates is the health and safety of the staff, noting that the union's intent is to always forge a mutually beneficial relationship between the employer and the employees. He is commending the Ministry of Grand Bahama and the Ministry of Health for its assistance thus far. Another building that houses several government agencies will also undergo deep cleaning because of COVID-19. It was reported yesterday that an employee of the Registrar General Office that is housed in the Fidelity Financial Center in Freeport tested positive for COVID-19. President of Ashby Investment Company Limited, David Wallace, says the situation was brought to its attention yesterday. Listening to the press, conference yesterday by the Ministry of Health where Mrs. Dalry just also alluded to this person, an employee, um, we thought to take a more proactive role as tenants in the building. We know that the registrar is getting bids to have its office sanitized and disinfected. So we thought as tenants of the building, what we should do is sanitize and disinfect the public areas of the building, the entrance, the exit, the elevator, the stairwell, and all of the public areas on the first, second, and the third floor. He says they believe that the virus was contained to the Registrar General Office and adds that the same company carrying out the deep cleaning at the C.A. Smith government building was contracted. We are cognizant of the fact that COVID is here with us. And there are sometimes people who are asymptomatic who do not know that they have it. And unfortunately, it is not until it's doing the contact tracing that they discover these people. And so now that we've discovered that one of the employees had it, we are going to do, starting this evening, uh, to have this building sanitized and disinfected. The summer months are here and noticeably hot temperature, temperatures are rising. While tonight a local physician is sharing with residents how to protect themselves from exposure to heat. Jamila Mizik reports. Scorching temperatures are a concern as the heat intensifies during these hot summer months. Medical Chief of Staff at Grand Bahama Health Services, Dr. Freeman Lockhart, notes that heat exhaustion is very possible and exposure to heat can mean severe dehydration, which can in some cases cause persons to collapse. His advice is to find ways and means to stay cool and hydrated. For the exercise, exercise enthusiasts among us, you know, I would encourage you to probably um, partake of your um, exercise in the early morning hours or in the late evening when the um, heat index or the heat intensity is not so severe. Um, also, if you have um, any um, chores to do outside of uh, any kind of cooling, cool space, if you can plan to do it during the morning hours, during the um, evening hours, that would be um, um, certainly in your best interest. Dr. Lockhart is also encouraging those who do not have access to a cooling system to find a cool, shaded area not exposed to direct sunlight. And when it comes to the elderly, disabled and children, he says the same applies. In terms of um, keeping out of direct sunlight, keeping them cool and keeping them hydrated okay hydration is absolutely key because even if you are in a cool space um, we can all uh, we have all experienced it even though you're in a shaded or cool space you can still um, uh, lose a lot of fluids okay so hydration is absolutely key at a, at a time like this not everyone have access to um, um, air condition air conditioning but um, certainly there are, there are various, various means. He says it is also important to wear clothing that does not attract heat. You want to dress in um, fabrics or colors that uh, do not attract heat, so light colored clothing, 
and also the material you wear. You want to wear materials that more absorbent, more cotton material as opposed to um, others that will cause you to, uh, to sweat a lot. Dr. Lockhart notes that the recommended water intake of eight glasses per day is certainly an advantage. Jamila Mizik, Sadness Network News. Well, in other news, a new political party looking to join the political race come 2022. In this report, the leader of Kingdom Government Movement says he plans to contest all 39 seats of the country and shares his vision for the future of the Bahamas. If elected, their mandate is to modify and replace the current Westminster system of governance in the country. Leader of the Kingdom Government Movement, Dr. Kevin King, says that for the past two years, he has been working to educate the population on why the current system is not effective. He shares his vision for the country if elected in 2022. The best of Westminster and the best of the Repub Republican system. In doing so, all Senators would be elected directly from the citizenry. The Prime Minister would also be elected from the citizenry. The, the Prime Minister will no longer be elected because he is the leader of a political party. Okay? So those individuals, whether it be male or female, who seeks to become the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, will then bring their visions and their plans to the citizens of the Bahamas, participate in debates, and we, the people of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, will choose who we would want to represent us as the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Dr. King also proposes having an elected president to replace the position of Governor General. He says that he has big plans to transform the country, especially the island of Grand Bahama. When it comes to West End, he shares this vision. West End, West End will have a different structure as far as homes are concerned. We have four different structures that we will implement into various areas in the Bahamas. Um, these building structures are very, very new, highest t t technological advances that can withstand Category 5 winds. So West then will have a whole new look, but we'll still maintain its quaint Bahamian flavor. Okay, but West End will not look like it does now, and it truly will be a tourism mecca. What will also aid in West End is that we are, we'll be manufacturing marine assets. That means we'll be manufacturing our own boats. But these will be electric boats. We'll also be manufacturing our own patrol boats. So Border Patrol is an intricate part of the KGM's platform where every port of entry in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas will be manned. Now, Dr. King says he intends to contest the East Grand Bahama constituency. When it comes to that community, he has this vision. We're going to really build a medical city with a major natural univer a university of natural medicine. We'll be manufacturing and distributing our own Bahamian medicinal plants. Who can do that? Me. Why? I am the authority on natural medicine in the Bahamas. Okay? So under my um, leadership, the world of alternative medicine will descend on Grand Bahama and it will expand throughout the entire country. He further adds that he wants the Bahamas to become a producing country rather than a consuming country. He shares his plan for the economy. For the first time in the history of the government of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, we will have an investment portfolio. So the government of the Bahamas now will not depend on the IMF, the IDB, or burdening our citizens with taxes in order to meet, meet its, its obligations. Okay? We will have our own investment portfolio um, outside of the country, whether it be capital markets, whether it be stocks, whether it be bonds, whether it be treasury. But we've already put the infrastructure in place that we will be generating revenue outside of the country so as to take the burden off our citizens. So far, 10 candidates have been ratified for the KGM. We are targeting every constituency in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. 39 candidates. If he chooses to add more, then we will contest more. There is no seat that we will not contest in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him 
who is the health of my continent and my God. Grace, mercy, and peace unto you from God our Heavenly Father. Like the angel Gabriel said to Mary, Fear not, for the Holy Spirit shall overshadow you. It is our hope that the Holy Spirit overshadow our land. Jesus said, In the world ye shall have tribulation, but of be of good courage, for I have overcome the world. He has promised us we can have his peace in the midst of any storm. I want to encourage you to allow the Lord to help you overcome every crisis. From the everyday personal stress to world-class calamities, sickness and death. Be reminded that God is much bigger and stronger than any situation, trial or test. Because he sent his son to die that we may have life more abundantly. When you pass through the waters, he said, I will be with you. And when you go through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, it will not burn you. The flames will not set you ablaze. Remember, trouble does not last always. A new day is dawning, Bahamas. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. And coming up, a local church touching lives within the neighborhood.